Hello there and welcome back you lovely lot. Today we're having a bash at the Milky Bath Nails but we're going to do it with a twist. We'll come to that sooner th rather than later. But here I thought I'd show you how I mix the milky white shade that I need. This is me trying it out. So it was a tablespoon of clear to a quarter of white. However, it wasn't sheer enough for the look that I wanted. So I end up adding another two tablespoons. I had one, shake it, try it again. Then I had another one and on the third one, it was perfect. So three clear to a quarter of the white. Then I got some dried flowers. Now they're from AliExpress, but these are 3D flowers. Now you, if you saw my haul a couple of videos back, you will see that I ordered some from AliExpress, but they were flat. But these I got a while back and they're the 3D ones. Everybody's using the flat ones and I wanted to make life a little bit difficult for myself. <laughs> no, I was after it. I'm after a different look. I want the milky bath, but I want my interpretation of it. So I thought to myself, what does a milky bath, what does a milky bath, you know, what does that mean to me? To me, honestly, it's lush. The lush bath bombs, throw it in the bath, it fizzes up, it leaves a milky bath like milky colour, but you can still see the boldness of them beautiful flowers that are encased in that bath bomb. When they come and they float on top, they are amazing. So I decided that's what I was going to do. So first of all, I'm out of shot. So sorry, guys. I pull it back in a sec, I promise. But I'm basically using Perfect Pink from uh, Glitter Planet and I'm doing a smile line. <clears throat> So I'm pulling that into shape. You've seen me do this before. And then I leave that to set. And then I move on to the next nail. Now, what are we going to do that it's a little bit different? I want to have... I want to see the flowers underneath. I want a crystal clear tip. And I want to see those beautiful, bold, shades of flowers underneath so that's what we're going for and um i've started with a little finger we're going for a, a fade on that nail bed so the beautiful perfect pink shade from glitter planet and we are going to put that on the nail bed and feather that up then what we're going to do is have some um Sorry, just got a text there. I'll put that off. So sorry, guys. I'm going to put on some, um, that's a bit of clear, and I'm putting on iridescent glitter pieces. There are hexes, squares, circles. Now, remember, these are going to be clear tips. So from the underneath, you're going to see the iridescent glitter pieces with the bold shade of these flowers. I didn't want the flat flowers because I thought that would get swallowed up in the milky bath um, shade of white. I'm going to do exactly the same on the thumb. Sorry. I'm going to do exactly the same on the little finger that I have on the thumb. So I'm going to put down that milky pink, uh, feather that down and put those beautiful iridescent pieces on that thumb. Not, not cover it up. We're not, you know completely i want to see the bold flowers underneath and it is amazing it looks fantastic when we finish but we'll get there in a second so what i was going to say is i want the bold flowers so i have gone for the 3d you know the protruding flowers because i want that color to pop up out of the milky white so yes we need the swirl of the bath water, you know, being a, a predominantly milky colour, but I want those pop of colour. I want that vibrantness to come through both the top and the bottom of that nail. And you know what? I thought this was awesome. I loved doing this. And I want to share it with you. I want you to see. Uh, it is a big tricky. It's, it's, it's not easy. But come on, what, what, what nail design that's worth its soul is easy 
so a little bit of green i haven't stuck to one color because these bath bombs don't stick to one color they have lots of beautiful colors so there's no color regarding acrylic it's all in the flat i mean look at that many iridescent pieces there they're gorgeous and you can really see that underneath when we're done now i don't bother um too much about anything sticking up so i hold it down as much as i can put a little bit of the wet acrylic in there uh, i did show you sorry too busy gassing but i did show you the tiny tiny piece of uh bead of acrylic that i do put on but um i put a bit of acrylic down tiny tiny bit want to still keep it as flat as possible we don't want to go too OTT. If it goes off the edge of the nail, we'll come back and we'll trim it. And I'll show you how I do that a little later on. So I put the flowers on. I hold them as flat as I can. Hold my belly and my brush on. That's where the weight is. Push it down. Use my finger. Need to. Right, okay. So we're coming on to the middle finger. And around this smile line, I am going to use these beautiful dark shades of, it's like a pinky red. And we're going to use that around the smile line so that uh, when the whole design's finished, that smile line will pop because of that beautiful shade that's actually framing it. Because that's what we're doing. I'm framing that smile line so that when the milky shade is actually put on we can actually still see the difference so i'm just holding that down like i said getting it as flat as i can if there's a little bit protruding too much I, i'm not too bothered i'll come in and trim trim the bits that are that are sticking out but again i will i will show you that a little later on because uh that's the thing with using these flowers that are more 3D rather than... They're like proper, real, dried flowers. They're not the flat, dried flowers. I mean, there's one with um, with beads on, pale pink beads. Oh, the, oh, it's just beautiful. I just love all these colours. So I kept it all in shot for you so that you could all see them as well. So when I've finished that, I leave that to set and then I'm going in with some fine iridescent glitter on the very tip of my brush and I'm putting that in between the flowers if there's any gaps, a little bit on top and just put a little bit of glitter in between. When I've done that, I then do exactly the same on the little finger So when I've finished putting the fine iridescent glitter on all three of those, I just have a little look, make sure it's all looking gorgeous. And I'm quite happy with that before I move on. And I start putting the uh, flowers onto the final two nails. So these are gonna be full milk bath nails. So, as done previously, a small bit of acrylic is put onto the actual nail and then I pick up 
whichever of these beautiful vibrant colours I choose to put on and then I hold that down. These are those beads I was telling you about. Aren't they gorgeous? So what I do is I put it onto the uh, small bead of clear acrylic that's on the nail, push that in, let it set, move on. Don't spend too much time. I can come back to it and finish it off and refine it all later. But at this point, I just want um, the bulk of it to adhere to the acrylic. So that's what I'm doing. I think I was being a bit forceful with these to be honest because every time I'm pushing down with the my brush here we go this is me trimming it off I'm just showing you on one of the nails how anything that protrudes either vertically or horizontally just get me little stalk scissors and just nip that off this is the milky shade that we made at the beginning now what I'm doing is I'm just putting that over the flowers and feathering feathering it back onto the nail bed but what I'm going to do is weave that white in between those flowers I don't want to drown the flower in the milky shade so you'll see as I go on that I thread that through and then I add little bits where I want it. In my head, all the time, I'm thinking of that lush bath bomb and how it looks and trying to recreate that in, this, on, in these nails. Um, what, was, what I was going to say was I think I was a little bit, a little bit rough. Not rough. That's not. That's not the right word. I wasn't rough. I'm never rough. <sighs> a little bit forceful, because me me tips kept trying to come out. Either that or my brush was uh, a little bit heavy with the monomer. I tell you what. I think. Uh, Thank God I had a, an e-file for this. By the time I'd finished with my bottom layer and my 3D flowers and then my milky shade and then I clear capped it. Got my drill out. E-file, darling, e-file. I got the e-file out and uh, e-filed it into shape. But yeah, definitely, definitely needed it. See how it keeps, keeps popping out. Thumb fell completely out. It's a little bit top heavy, I think. Because of course there's only a little bit on the on the nail bed, but then you've got these big, big 3D flowers and a stack loads on. Looks alright then, doesn't it? Eh? Looks really nice. I love the colours. Absolutely love these colours. They really are grand. So I clear cap these and then I will file these off camera. go this is all filed and done and we're going in with premier gel high shine top gloss now i come to obviously i, d I don't know about you but um i will file them 
when I filed them I will then cleanse all the nails but I will go over the actual acrylic with acetone on a lint free wipe and it wasn't so lint free and I got fluff on the brush when I was doing that beautiful little nail there so that's what I was faffing around at so I then top coat these gorgeous little beauties look at that look at that ring finger look at the colours there screaming and I was really pleased that the uh, smile line was um, still vibrant enough that I could see by choosing those darker shades of flowers around that smile line but I think the thumb was my favourite honestly it, I try and wiggle it in a minute to show you the iridescent glitter and I just don't think the camera does it justice, but it is absolutely great. Anyway, guys, this is the finished look. How gorgeous are these? I stuck a few gems on just to finish it off. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed doing them. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Now, there is a short clip showing you the underneath. Look at that wonderful thanks for tuning in guys until next time bye